Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Alright people, happy Christmas. I'm going to actually be dropping this video on Christmas Day by the looks of it. So it's probably not going to get the most views ever, but look, put some decorations up. Make it look all Christmassy. We'll say this is like a little Christmas present from me to the community. To all the people that have been commenting, subbing, liking and all that, look. Yeah, it's well appreciated, so yeah, happy Christmas guys. And this place is basically my underwater temple from the Atlantis build. And I've just built it on land just so I can make a decent how to build video out of it. Um, the whole temple here where I've built it is lined up with the sun. So as it rises in the morning it comes up right between the main gates and sets at the back. So I've built like a little throne there. Right where the sun rises. And behind that, that's a, a tech field generator, you know, the, the shield. I didn't know you could paint them things. I sprayed it green and it just sort of blows up like that. So I'm going to call this one the Jade Temple. Check them lighting effects on that. Just glistens off it. Bright as anything. Yeah, everybody's blind now. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically, the whole thing was built to sort of cage in my... Uh, vacuum compartments under the sea so the whole build is basically it's all aesthetic there's nothing really there that's doing anything if you know what i mean i mean most bases you build it like you're building for defense or you know they're built to house different areas and they're built for some specific reason this was just totally a me messing about building a temple see what it looked like but yeah, it came out really well, and the response was great to it, so, you know, I had quite a few requests to build, for the how-to-build video to it, so, I thought I'd give it a go. It was, it was a pain in the water. I mean, it was easier to build because you could swim about and, you know, level, layer everything up easier, but, um, just because of the lighting down there, you know, it was building in the dark most of the time, so, I thought this would be a lot easier to sort of comprehend. Each sort of slice of the hexagon is completely symmetrical so once you've got that archway built and um, the small archway in front and the roof section coming off every single one's exactly the same so i've sort of done it in sections and then sort of you know built an archway showed how that's built as as well as i could um and then just leave you to it you know to put the rest of them in um or the video would have been hours long uh, the roof section was built sort of from one corner to the other and sort of met in the middle but I'll show you that later as well there we go it worked out really well if you've watched the underwater one I used a lot of um, artifacts and a lot of the taxidermy stuff to add some more decor to it and then dead in the centre there that's where I had the vacuum compartments and the base actually came up from the middle and sort of wrapped around these big columns uh, so I sort of had to just wing it and try and build something inside because i thought if you've got this on land um you could have like a production area in one place then like kitchens and another for your food um and the rest would just be like dino storage or whatever you want you could even like build a full base in between those columns or what else I was thinking was you could take out all these bmf doors around the side just have the three main ones at the front and that whole sort of section could be with just one massive base and you could get everything in there then. Um, I built these platforms in. There's a elevator on the left hand side and some spiral stairs on the other side. And where that shield's round in there, just behind the little throne thing I built, that's all my cryopods. So they're just a little bit safer in there. And that guys is it. And a few some threw some Christmas decorations up. So have fun building and yeah, I'll catch you later. Right, let's get on with the build. Uh, pick this island here, just off the coast of the sort of the swamp on centre, and you can see the lava island over there. So you sort of got an idea where it is. Uh, when I was when I started building here, I noticed that the sun rises like directly behind me, so I wanted to line up the whole build. So as the sun rose, it comes straight through the main doors at the front. So that's what I'm doing here, just getting everything lined up to start off with. See the build mostly is like just 
a lot of symmetry on each side when you've got the main hexagon built so there's a lot of like repetitive things in it so i've put a few um things up on the screen for measurements and stuff but i'll just have a bit of a chat through it and just explain it as we're going a bit easier to follow so basically what i've done there i've got one pillar down counted six from that that was just a pillar i was playing with earlier on that so you've got one two three four five six then one next to it here and then you want to count out one two three four five from that so you've got 11 pillars down that's going to be the basis for the first section of the hexagon and that's basically what we're going to end up with you're going to have 12 side uh sorry 12 ceilings on each side of the hexagon and then we're going to put some pillars down from the middle so then like middle so it'd be like the sixth pillar in um 10 out from that into the center so we're going to build that now the whole thing needs to be pretty level so if you just start off with a ceiling on the end one build one ceiling out and that makes it the 12 across then use some stone uh, fence foundations put one at an angle like that get the two walls on it you'll be able to snap another ceiling in at an angle and then anchor that into the ground with a couple of pillars sometimes that second pillar underneath is a bit tricky getting it down you've got to line it up properly and then once you put the pillars next to that now that'll keep everything at the same height right the way around they'll start snapping the point of the lower pillar that went in so again count 11 out there you go that's the 11 pillars and then on this side now we're going to start snapping the ceilings in from there so um what you do just press r and it'll just like snap the pillar uh, the ceiling to the next one along so you don't want them lying on top of the pillars it'll put everything out of uh, out of height that out of level and then same again a couple of stone foundations two ceilings uh, sorry two walls snap the ceiling in and get this pillar in and like i said it is a bit of a repetitive build getting each section built but just carry on doing the same thing and it is worth just going back and sort of double checking all your measurements you know how many pillars you've got down and just like double checking these ceilings are all at the right height you see then they just snap where they want so make sure you press r get them all at the right level just saves you having to come back later because like you get halfway around the build and there's like one number out and nothing meets up did that a couple of times building this thing just trying to get that bottom pillar lined up again carry on another 11 pillars like i said the first time i built this was underwater it's the it's the whole sort of underwater atlantis temple build but i thought you know, a few people asked for a how to build video so i thought I'll, what i'll do i'll do it on land then i've got a decent lighting and you can see how it goes together Right, just jumped ahead a little bit there right near the other side now i've gone right the way around so this is the last lot of ceilings before you hit that first lot of pillars you put down you go back to the other side there we need to put some pillars on the corners just to sort of hide the gap between the walls the gap's really small but this just sort of sorts it out so snap a pillar to that end stone foundation and run ceilings back to the other side that should line up pretty nice so it's not perfect but looks good you see that slight height difference you you can sort of remove all them pillars again and go around the same and it'll line up slightly better but it makes like literally no difference to the build whatsoever right so on each corner here what you want to do get some walls down um proper stone foundations will snap directly in line with all the pillars so you can get them down around the cut the, the sort of around the bottom just to hide that gap and there is a slight gap there on them pillars but it won't matter because you're putting stairs and stuff in there later so you won't be able to see it there we go that's what every corner needs to look like So on every corner now you're going to have um, a ceiling that's got not got any pillars in 
so we're going to go to each corner and snap a pillar in like that yeah and then count six pillars in snap a, another pillar in in front of that so you've got one two yeah six so you're gonna have like two in the center make sure it's still lining up with the sun so i've got it all in the middle and then from there we're gonna count out ten so you've got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's just easier doing it this way because then i can sort of make sure all the measurements are right Now it's the same again, just go to each corner and repeat the process. So six pillars in, snap one down, get rid of them walls in the corner there. You've got another pillar in the centre, just for underneath that ceiling. Then one on the edge. Oh, them ceilings um, try and snap to the fence foundation, so you might have to just pull it out. But because like they've introduced a little bit of S plus now luckily we can pick up walls and things so it's a lot sort of less resource intensive and six in from that side another pillar and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just carry on doing that Right, been right round the outside of the base, got everything done. That's the last lot of uh, 10 pillars going in. So that is basically what you should be sitting on now. Each corner's done. And each side has got the 10 pillars going towards the centre. Now I'm just going to place a few more to line them up and get them all in the middle. So I'll put an extra couple on each. Uh, set of 10 make sure you get them spaced out properly and put an extra two on that one you no know, that's facing sort of where the main doorway is going to be and an extra two on the, the opposite side just to get them lined up same again on that side those four sides are like going to be like the main sort of um, focus of everything if you know what I mean so you're thinking like in a cross section and then like in a pizza shape for the rest of it and then two extra ones are put in the middle just for extra support 
Yeah, and then two more on the corner pieces and that should be it. Right, now we're just laying the pillars that are going to be sort of the foundations for the rest of the ceilings and the rest of the build. So out from the 12 you've got each side, go to one side, run them to the middle, then the other side of the, you know, the other corner and then run that to the middle. And just keep doing it like that. You sort of build it up like a pyramid shape on both sides. I managed to keep these pillars pretty even, you know, for each section. Um, when you look at it from above, it does look a bit crazy, but it was a pretty simple idea, really. And each pillar, you know, you can sort of run ceilings off a couple from it before it says there's no foundation there. So even if you're a little bit out on one or two of these, it doesn't really matter because the pillars will support like so much around them anyway. Sort of see the idea there as it goes down in lines, so that first 10 you placed. I'll count them up now, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then on the opposite side, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They won't meet then. So from that initial 10 in the centre there, that went out to, what was it, 12, 13 in the end. We added a couple extra, didn't we? So the next level is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven until it meets again. One, two, three, four, five. Get placed properly. Six. One, two, three, four, five on the other side, and they meet quite well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, that's about it there get rid of that tree and then the one in the corner face towards the middle again so you've got that sort of nice pyramid shape so you're just looking at doing that basically and then just filling each corner up There's a couple of spots I could have got an extra pillar in sort of lining everything up There you go, once you've done that on every corner, that's basically what you should be looking at. I said it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you get the general idea of it there. Right, from this point now, we need the um, walls on the outside to be too high from the ground. So I'm just going to carry on that right the way around. So I'll just speed this up a bit because it's a simple thing. Literally just putting walls right the way around the whole build. And walls on the bottom row and then foundations in front of them. go that's around the entire outside of the base it's all symmetrical again so it's just you know the same on each side that then we're going to start putting some ceilings in most ceilings are going to be above the actual pillars you know in the same general direction and everything so it should be okay 
Yes, 15 ceilings to the centre. Yeah, for these, it's just a matter of finding that them two middle pillars, you know, the sixth from each side that we started with um, on the cross section and just build them up like that. If you're actually still building this underwater, if you're having it as a water base, um, where you've got them four pillars in the centre there and you put them extra ones in, you can actually line that up with the uh, vacuum compartments so you can get them like spot on. If you spin it around there, if you look at the window on, at the top where, where it just cuts through the pillars, you can actually line that open section up with the pillars on either side. See how them two pillars are just touching each side of the window. And basically when you come to do it underwater, if you line it up like that, that'll put that dead, dead in the centre for you. So you can build all the, um, the rest of the compartments up from there. Yeah, so just get the four sides done from the centres. That's sort of the the base of that down and then you're running everything from there then and you're just running these over the pillars that have been placed so you're placing 15 in the center and then missing two so the next next level is 13 then you're going to miss another two. So the next level is 11. So you put an 11 down now on each side. I think then we're going to miss three. So the next one's going to be eight, eight ceilings down on each side. Then it's five, then two. So missing three on this on this line. Then get your last two into the corner. I'll put the measurements up in a second so you, you've got sort of an, uh, another perspective of it. Yeah, get rid of them as well so they're not sticking through your ceilings. There you go, that's measurements you want. That's from each side, so that's like a nice even thing to build on. And then you want to do that on each corner. So that cross section looks all the same. Right, so that's all four sides of that done. Um, now we're going to go to the corners and get the main pillars built. For this, in these triangle sections, you only want to put a few um, ceilings down to start with.
we'll have to remove that angled one in a minute um, just because the fence foundations won't go down properly and I'll correct that for the ne next few corners and show you properly just give you an idea so from the corners there you just sort of running out the ceilings in a straight line just to cover the gaps and it all works out pretty even once you've done it So that's just like three sets of ceilings from that side and what you want to do is just count two ceilings and then one in so it's like two from the side and one ceiling in and then put the foundation down the fence foundation down just there and the same on the other side I'll keep them all equal and then just snap a fence foundation down on the end like that, just right the way around. See on this bit here, because we got that other ceiling in at an angle, the fence foundation was trying to snap to the ceiling instead of the other fence foundation, so just had to remove that. Put, put one in that's just flat and then it'll snap down properly then. Just get them done like that in a little circle. Then you're going to snap pillars to the centre of each fence foundation. And that's just how I've got that sort of rounded, um, no big pillar shape. There you go. You're just going to want to build that on, on each corner now. on each corner what you want to do is count the two in from the side you know the, the ceilings that are already down and then these ones will snap in without that you know the angled ceiling that was there before so you won't have to destroy anything then put the angled one down and then you can sort of run the other ones out on the other side and that'll give it sort of flat ceilings just to snap it all to There you go. Right, and up to now, that's basically what you should be looking at. You've got all the main supports down for the pillars on each corner. And now we can get the middle section filled up with ceilings. So you're just running forward right down the centre.
just to get that every single little gap sort of filled up and you leave that tiny little triangle there that can help um, line up the main sort of pillar supports for the ceiling later There you go, let's get that done on each side and that's your entire sort of main base of the base sorted out. Right, I'm going to get a, sort of the main foundations of the entrance sorted out now. Just going to put a behemoth gate over it. Uh, I picked this side because of where the sun was rising, just to get it to come through the temple, like I said at the beginning. But you can sort of choose any, any angle you want, whatever side you're working on. Plus, I had better ground as well when I was doing it underwater. That's use a few pillars and things there. So you just come in two ceilings in and our two foundations in and putting walls down to two foundations apart and I'll just drop that slightly and you're coming out to so the base that the behemoth gate is going to sit on is like four squares and then just one in front of it there you go I just didn't quite get them walls on at the on the right bit. <laughs> so glad they introduced this plus. There we go. Um, I just had to use pillars here, so I snapped a couple of ceilings onto it, and then put pillars underneath. It doesn't exactly need that support, but it just helped me line up the. Um, pillars later on I'll show you get get around to building the rest of it like a little temple thing to go over over the main entrance and that basic little design there is going to go on every single side all the way around and that's going to hold up them sort of secondary arches right here you want to get some stone fence foundations um, well yeah, put an extra level of ceilings down here just wall that off and you'll have some ramps coming up there later to get into the base yeah, get the stone fence foundations snap two there then two in the centre and then two on that platform that you built and that'll just let the behemoth gate snap into place don't have to sort of try and you know, get it in the right spot yourself eh? Got directly online with sunrise. Right, what I wanted to do was just show that with the base being so high it can be a bit difficult to build on land um, so if you build yourself a construction quetz uh, it just makes life easier you know going up and down you don't have to build ramps or scaffolding or anything to get up there building this thing underwater is really easy because you just sort of swim around the height doesn't make any difference whatsoever so yeah throw a few foundations down on a quetz a couple of ceilings and you can use them to sort of fly around everything and climb up yeah, so that's basically what we're going to be building, that big archway there with the tech inside it. 
it's going to be 19 pillars high you've already got one pillar down on each one so I did one side of it here already I'll just show you the other side quick that's two three four five get about six down from the ground like I said I just wanted to show it that it can be built you know without um well basically without using creative mode you know because you can just fly around and get it all built dead easier yeah and i forget sometimes people might be building this on um you know a, fi a normal service so you haven't got access to that sort of thing Some of the pillars would snap right into place, no problem. But when you're on the back of the quets, I don't know if it's something to do with the movement or the angle you're at. Um, some of the pillars wanted to sort of snap at a different point. So, sort of had to move them out of the way a bit. Get yourself some fat ceiling so you're not wasting too many resources. And just use that as a, like a little scaffold for now. Then them ones will actually snap into place. If you press R, you'll see it move. That one just jumped onto the next set of pillars there, I had to remove them ones. I think it's got more to do with the proximity of the other pillars. They're looking for sort of different snap points, you know, because they're trying to sort of snap to the other set that are around it. Look, you can do these ones easy enough from the back of the quets, but the others you need a bit of a, a flat surface. Yeah, so basically with that you're just sort of working your way up doing the same thing until you're 19 pillars high and it's on level with the next one. Then you want to build the top of the archway. So get four ceilings down like that. Then run ceilings across to the other side and another, you know, one in front of it. Then you want sloped stone walls and stone walls. Normal ones. just basically mirroring one side on the other you want some slope stone ceilings get them in place you can use them to stand on as well. And run ceilings right across this bit to the other side.
and that's a single archway built and again just repeat it on each side it takes a much simpler base to build in the water I'll show you how to put the tech in with the tech gate here if you tried using foundations to snap it to it tried snapping inside the pillars so I'll get two walls down on line with defense foundations right in the center and you can see them little bits sticking out just where the wooden section goes through the wall just on the ground there's like two metal plates on the tech gate get them really sort of lined up so the same width on each side and then get it so the one on the left hand side is just dead center on that piece of wood and that should give you the same see it dead similar on each side it don't have to be you know 100 spot on but get it as close as you can got that nice and straight now sort of the same width on both sides as well there we go and what you should see is on the on the stone pillar next to it it looks like those metal clamps are sort of hanging onto it as if it's actually part of the structure so you can get them sort of lined up it looks good there you go And you want to fly back up again and just above the top of the behemoth door you want to snap some uh, tech ceilings in just go right away across to the other side and then you want some tech fence foundations when you snap them down it's on the second snap point so it's hanging over the edge of the ceiling it's pretty important that because now when you snap the dyno gates in um, they hang over a bit and see how I'm pressing E and you see it sort of moving get it so it's on the outside snap point then when you come to put the tech uh, doors in you know the actual gate itself it'll snap in properly if that dyno gate is set back a little bit the pillars interfere and then you can't get it in um, then on the top here you're just using tech doors just to keep that sort of archway look going just two tech doors and that should do it and it looks exactly like the one over the other side there we go just basically yeah just repeat that again on each on each corner
That is another archway we built. I'm just going to show you the step in front of it. It's exactly the same as the one we built out front, but because I've got like decent land around here, I can put foundations right in front of them. So you're just laying four foundations down in front of there, running four ceilings out. And get the walls in. And then it's just like one wall down at the front. And then on here, on here we're going to build the... Um, the smaller arches that are in, out in front. So I'll just use the fence foundation there and dead in the centre to get that wall down. And then we're going to build these 11 walls high. Just do another quick count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, yeah. 11 walls high. And just repeat that on this side. Fence foundation down in the center again between the two pillars, uh, ceiling, sorry. Get the walls down underneath. Can be a little bit tricky because you're sort of messing with where the snap points are there, but you can snap the walls to the underside of that ceiling that's in the centre and build these up 11 high again. I'll just go and grab the quets and show you sort of out building it off the back of one of them again. Right, once you've got that to 11 pillars high, you want to place four ceilings on the top. So the sort of the first one's halfway over the the wall, and then yeah, and then just put walls down around that, and then same again, put the ceiling down so it's halfway over the wall, and you get like another sort of section sticking out again. There you go. Now on this section you want to put some stone fence foundations down on each corner and then snap stone pillars to them. On this side they'll just snap to the middle because they're sort of snapping in line with each other so you don't need the fence foundations down. There you go. And then put stone walls in between them. And then on top of them walls, I'm just going to put ceilings in normally, um, straight above the other ones. And then you're going to need some slope stone walls, walls and slope stone ceilings again. Just more of a little like, aesthetic thing this, just to keep them sort of tomb like archways going. There we go, just repeat that on the neck on the other side.
and then between the two pillars put three ceilings down and um, snap some fence foundations to it and you can snap pillars to that just keeps that uh, the look of the pillars going across the middle like a little bridge and you could build um, rope ladders into these and some frame hatches and stick windows all the way around and use them as little houses little bases And there we go, once you've got the tech in that sort of a full side built and then you just, it's just the process of literally repeating the same thing over and over for all eight sides and you'll end up with something looking like that. Now we can start running the ceilings off and get the roof built. That's what the base should look like up to this point anyway. Right now we can get the ceiling done. What I did, I built this symmetrical, but did it from the centre of each archway. So you sort of meeting, you know, at the corners. So I'll get them ceilings down there. So right from the centre, very top of the archway. If you put five ceilings down, they'll meet at the corner like that quite nice. And then for the next bit, come one ceiling in and then snap another ceiling in place both sides and then we're going to sort of stack it up um, yeah put a wall in there another, another ceiling next to it and it just gives you a gap so when you put the next lot in you can sort of build them up till they meet again on both sides and it'll keep it like really symmetrical Then once the ceilings meet again, build one ceiling towards the centre, another wall, and then just stack them up again until they meet again. Just keep doing it like that. It's like they're just about to meet there. Build one more ceiling out. Because just checking to see how it looked. So that's like totally mirrored on both sides. So one more ceiling towards the centre on a wall. And then just stop there for now and get that done like all the way around. When you come to the next side because you're going to start like at the corners again once they meet in the middle that'll be like one archway done and it, sh it was just found it was the best way to do it really so you're starting from the centre again five ceilings and one in stick an extra ceiling and wall in and then you're going to build them out until they meet again which is like uh, about three ceilings and one more in towards the centre. And they're almost meeting again. And then that's that in the centre um in the centre of that archway. So that's like one built.
Right, so that's them sections done. Just gonna get them all to meet in the middle now. Get like a decent hexagonal shape in the very top for the sun to come through as it passes over. Looks good. So all you've really got to do here now is on each piece just add a ceiling, a wall and then another ceiling. And that should bring it to the centre for you. done and then just place one last set of walls um, along the top yeah and because I line the place up with the sun it sort of acts like a giant sundial you see the hexagon shape on the floor just moving right across the building throughout the day so it worked out really well that you can't build an ancient temple and not have it aligned with the sun right now you need a load of sloped stone seal uh, walls and normal walls and sloped stone roofs Basically, we're going to build the corner sections and fill that up and then put the glass in the main bits. So in each corner, just fill that little gap up to two stone ceilings. been around and built each side so this is sort of the last one um so you want to get two stone walls in there and fill that up with ceilings so they just overlap and if you work from the left so put the left hand side wall down then the right hand side um they'll overlap if you can see here this this whole section is just slightly below the other one um and that's because of when we've had them pillars right at the very start they were slightly lower than the rest of it but it don't make any difference so where you can fit walls in like that stick them in and then get the ceilings in they meet okay there um, you can't get anything in there so just overlap the two ceilings then you can get walls in on this section they come pretty close together then yeah overlap two ceilings on that one and the very top one as well Some of them you can get slope walls in as well um, to overlap but you've got to work them from the left as well. So now you want your slope stone walls to snap the slope ceilings to. And just run them to the sea, you know, the same as the ceilings because we're going to have glass in the middle. snap it to the center of the walls because they won't overlap properly there but like I said uh, the slope ceilings will if you try and put it in from the right and then the left it won't overlap it'll, it'll short red
Right, now we can get them central pillars in. If you remember before, there was a little triangle left where we run the ceilings up from. If you come three ceilings away from that and snap the stone fence foundation right in the centre of the two ceilings and that'll bring it right on level so when you build it up it'll look like it's supporting the roof. But these things are purely aesthetic, I just put them in there because I thought they looked good. You know, if you want to save on the resources from building all them pillars you can leave them out and it gives you a nice big open space. But putting them in also gives you sort of something to snap. Um, you can snap like platforms and stuff to it later. Or you could build like a base in the centre around that. And these are just exactly the same as, as all the other ones we've built. Get your, is it, eight uh, fence foundations down, snap them to the centre. And you've got that sort of rounded pillar shape. And then just run them straight up to the roof. I think it's about 28 high, I think.
Right, that's the last pillar going up. Just putting that bit of a collar around the top of it. Make it look like it's got some extra support. Then all around the sides, what you can do is use um, sloped roofs. And if you mess around with them a little bit, you can get them to snap um, at that angle. Just so it gives a bit of like structure to the ceiling. It doesn't look like it's all stepped then. Can be a bit of a pain to get in the right position, but they look good when they're done. Right, I'm going to get started on this temple section at the front of the base. Um, basically here I wanted to snap a pillar just in front of that step. You know, like I did on the other side, then I was just looking underneath it to see what I'd done. So i got that pillar there and then made sure that snapped out in the same position as the one on the other side. And then I wanted the ceilings to be level because we're going to use the ceilings as the um, spots for putting the stone fence foundations down to make the rounded pillars again. But to get them all at the right height, um, you have to build them off the walls. But I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. I just wait to get the foundation back in this section here. you don't necessarily need that pillar there and um, you can just run, run the ceiling straight across but doing that will give us like a um, a level place to put the fence foundations onto keeps everything at the right height then luckily when i was building the water it was completely flat so i just built straight out so get your found the uh, ceilings down so they're sort of in the same position as the um, step section behind you so then when you come to put the fence foundation down it'll be right in the center we'll keep it nice and level on both sides just have to get them pillars in there to hold them ceilings up and then we're just doing exactly the same thing as we did before with the pillars just put the fence foundations down in a circle and then snap the pillars to the middle The pillar there that's in uh, holding these ceilings up is sort of in the way now but if you get a few pillars down you know snap them into the ground so they're secure and um, then you can remove that pillar on the other side some of them won't snap in properly because they want to snap to the ceilings but once you've got 
these few in um, the whole thing's secured and so you can start removing ceilings and it, it won't affect it so that's the pillar that's holding it up so you can remove that now and then put the one in its place in the middle of the fence foundation Just remove them ceilings, get them out of your way, so the pillar will go in. I just put that ceiling back in there so we've got somewhere to snap the, the rest of them to, so we can carry on. Just, just because the way the, the ground slopes down, um, we needed a point that was level with everything to build them up off. So you got that circles built and then just build one out and then you want the little platform for the fence foundations to go on again.
Right, so we've got six pillars built there. Um, now we're just going to add 13 more pillars to each one. And that'll get them to the right height to build the um, top of the temple onto. Here I'm just going to build up this front section here so we can build some ramps into it. So I was just getting foundations down like where I could. There's a couple of spots where they were, the ground was too low so. Just put ceilings in front of there for now. Just put walls in just to hide the gap. Right, carry on with these pillars um like i said 13 high and you just want to do that to all six of them all the way around Right, that's done. I'm gonna get some ceilings in now. If you come one pillar down or to the nearest snap point, snap a ceiling in. Um, because there's no support down the centre of the this temple section yet, they won't actually build straight across. See how it goes red? So you're sort of building them off from the pillar at the side just to get them to meet for now, but we're gonna fill that, that middle section in with some pillars later. It's like there, there's no support. There you go, get that first layer of ceilings in and then you can snap walls right the way around the place. And you can remove them middle um, ceilings as well they're not really needed Yeah, top this place off with some ceilings and then we can put a bit of a slope roof in give it that sort of that temple look some slope walls and ceilings just uh, slope walls and normal walls just too high at both ends give something for the the uh, sloped roof to attach to There's not enough support for these ceilings yet so we're gonna have to go down and build some pillars and stuff in and build some steps leading up to the main base it's different from the water um the underwater basis because 
like I said, I had much better ground. It was all dead level and straight. So I had to stick a couple of extra pillars in there just to get that the right height. Then run them ones off. Okay, this one, because I've put three so close to each other, the last one comes in a bit lower, but it doesn't physically have to stick to the ceiling to support it, so we're cool. Get them rows in. The ceilings here, the pillars are just slightly higher than the actual, than that section. See how they sort of run into it? But it actually works out quite well, that later. So you've got like steps going up the side and it's got like a little gap in the middle. Run some foundations along this edge as far as you can really I'm going to top it all off with ceilings and walls to hide it and then whenever there's a gap where a foundation wouldn't snap in just because of the slope I just put a ceiling in instead see that there, just snaps another ceiling in I was trying to get the foundation to snap on this side but I just ran them down Try to get that wall to snap to the, the ceiling above and just run these straight along the top. On this back wall here, just put four ceilings in and then walls to cover it. The walls will snap through them ceilings at below, and then I put two slope walls there and then ramps on top. That gives you like two ways to walk up and then into a, a full ramp here. Get these walls in just to hide this. Extra ceiling there. And then I'm just going to stick some um, wooden ramps in to finish it off. That foundation came in slightly lower because the pillar was lower, but it doesn't make any difference. Then these side sections there, I just stuck some extra pillars in just to break up all the straight steps.
Right guys, that's that temple all finished off. You see that one on the right hand side over there? It's basically a replica of this, but the ground's a lot longer level. So we can just throw some stone foundations down and just run the pillars up. There's no messing about with that side. Um, the reason it's already built is because I'm sort of going backwards and forwards on different bits, getting different things built. So uh, I just cut the video up to make it a bit easier. Um, on this platform here, I just ran it from one of those big middle pillars and ran it out to where these dinosaur gates are. You can't put one um, ceiling down the middle because the dinosaur gates are in the way. So there's just a bit of a gap there. But if you did come to build the platforms, like I said before, if you leave them pillars out so you've got more room, you could run the platform straight off each side and just have the whole top level as a, a single room. Leave that open so you can just fly straight in. There's a few different things you could do to it if you're building on land. Like I said, it was originally designed just to be like a, a casing for the um, the vacuum compartments to be built inside. And here I'm just putting the slope ceilings back in. Uh, just to fill up the, the top space really, get rid of that sort of stepped effect. And then I'm just going to put some glass greenhouse ceilings in there. On this section, um, I just wanted to show you, I was putting the tech gates in and basically go to the option where it says uh, is it auto open and just go to don't because then when you come to paint it, they, they stay shut and you can just go around and spray them all quick. I sprayed it all in green. But when you're underwater, the doors, if you spray them orange, they look green in that light. Right, this is the last little temple um you just want to get a stone fence foundation down on that foundation there it should snap towards the bottom of it and then it'll give you like a, a line dead in the center of that pillar you snap it to you know the right hand side of that stone foundation and just run the rest of the foundations off that This is much easier to build than the other side. Just need to run two fence foundations out, then build your little circle on the second foundation, then run one out and then build it, and then another one and then build the circle on that. So you start leaving one foundation in between each circle. Then just do that uh, three times on both sides. Right, so that's the last of the fence foundations down. You've got six sets. And now it's time to put the pillars in to make that rounded column. And you're going to make these 13 high. Just recount that. Yeah, 13. So I'll put that bottom row on and then just uh, put 12 more on top of it. So that's exactly the same on all six. That's what you should find when you've got them all done. Six nice columns all sorted. Now we're just going to lay a bunch of stone for, uh, stone foundations across the whole bottom of this area um, and that'll help just support the roof and everything when it goes in and with the ground level being so flat it was just an easier way to do it 
didn't really need to build any big steps in or anything like that. There you go, that's done. Now just the roof. Started from that back right hand side, just came down sort of one wall and snapped it in. And then just follow that around right the way around at that level. See the ground sloped slightly, you know, a really small amount, but when you put the fence foundations in, it does lower the pillars a tiny little bit. So, if you start on that right hand side there, uh, that's sort of the highest set of pillars for this build, where I am now, and then just snap all the ceilings um, from that sort of height. You see them like fluctuate a little bit where they want to snap slightly lower, just press R and it should jump into place. And then again, just the same as the other side. Snap walls right the way around it and then use the walls to get the right height for the rest of the ceilings that are going on on top. And then it's uh, slope stone walls and walls just to build it up again. I sort of create some little alcoves on both ends um, and I put some taxidermy stands in and just stuck some dinosaurs on them on the, on the underwater one if you've seen that. Just to add a bit of decor to it. And that is it, last structure built, last thing we've got to do is just stick a few ramps down there to get in and then I went round um, to each side and put ramps in all the way around. Oh no, I'm lying, I've got to do the collars first. Yeah, these collars um, I did just because the top of the, f the, the column going straight into the brick just it looks a bit plain, if you know what I mean. And putting the stone walls around it like that just made it like it had some structure and it was actually holding it up. There you go. Now it's finished. Looks a bit plain but it looks quite cool and there's a Bronto sat inside it. 
can always embellish it a little bit yourself have a play around with it for these ramps I just stuck the ceilings in and then a couple of slope walls on them and then the slope ceilings just to make like a staircase basically and that is it done that's the end of it and I just did that on the other seven sections that I haven't got them and we're finished guys all right so there you go that's this is basically what you should have ended up with So at the beginning got a few Christmas decorations up and stuff you see how the sunlight goes right over the top of the whole building so it's like lit all day it's cool I said in the video you can't have a big temple like this and not align it all with the sun all respect to the ancient architects got built like a little canteen bit here um, yeah I was kind of lost for what to build in the place actually it being so big and sort of you know what I could sort of designate to each area but I thought I'd just stick some production in a little canteen area like this and sort of gives you an idea what you could build in here and then this like I said before I had no idea you could paint these shields I'm pretty impressed with that and I just stuck all the cryopods in there to keep them safe and there's a the lift system just going up to that platform there's quite a bit of room up here, I've got a Rock Drake on one, a couple of Quets on that one over there. Some Tapajera, just with the tech gear on. That's bright. And the Drakes, I like the way they, they cling onto these pillars and sort of wrap around them. Just build a, use these pillars as Drake storage. wear a parachute I'll do this I actually planned that that was perfect <laughs> right and there we go guys um, I've been the pilgrim you've been mad enough to sit the right way through the video and try and build this thing or you flick through and found out I was still rambling at the end and thought you'd listen to it right, either way thank you very much for watching guys uh, have a great Christmas and yeah I'll catch you in the next video